What's up, y'all? Carlito here, back with another video on your screen. I hope everyone's having a great day, and um, you know, staying blessed, staying healthy. And uh, sure. I'm here with my boy Joshua LeBron, and um, it's just one hell of a you know two fights that he's had, um, laying people out, power power hitter, and yeah. uh, shoot, bro, it's just crazy. You know, him fighting out of uh, Long Island and now resigning in Orlando, Florida. It's um, it's just crazy. And just got to say, I appreciate your time, bro. And so what can you tell me, you know, about growing up in Long Island and uh, making that transition to Florida? Well, I mean, I can't really tell you that much because I was there for like three years and then we moved to Florida, you know, and just, it was just me and my mom and my brothers and my mom just had to like, you know, make it like we had to survive and, you know, and obviously we're living good. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm blessed to, to be in the position I am right now yeah. and also broke. And that's all, all I got to say is just thank, thanks to my mom for real. Hell yeah. yeah moms are, are something else some days, man. Yeah. You know, like no one knows how they go through all that, you know? And, I can't uh, even understand it. I know, right? For real. And uh, so what, who was your favorite fighter growing up? Definitely Manny Pacquiao because he's soft, softball, he's fast, um, his angles. And he, he fought he fought a, all the big names. Like, he fought a ton of big names. And the fact that, like, I watched from his from his first loss, which was a real knockout back in the Philippines. Nobody nobody realized that he got knocked out. His, his, like, his first loss was by a knockout. Mm -hmm. And I watched him, also Terrence Crawford. The fact that when he fight when he fights southpaw, I watched that a lot more. A lot, a lot more southpaw fighters I watched. There's um, don't get me wrong. There's also um, who else that's really good as as well as Mayweather. Everyone watches Mayweather. Mm -hmm. Um, I like Canelo style a little bit. I like Canelo. I like Canelo style. Just the fact that his defense, I watch his defense a lot more because he can still keep that that pressure. <laughs> but also be a very defensive fighter as well. Hell yeah. That's for sure, bro. Because, <laughs> you know, the difference in between, like you said, between Manny and, uh, and uh, Mayweather, there's this like one has like a total gift and then the other mm -hmm. one um, takes- Just has hard work. Yeah, takes the blow uh, and takes every hit. And um, it's a true warrior too, man. They both are, but this yeah. man is a whole nother uh that's a whole nother that's a whole nother animal. That's just for real. He, he, he's basically he's just he's like um how should I say Aaron Andre Ward said this too. Andre Ward said um the uh the lion with the most scars hunt the most, hunts yeah. the best, or something like that. So it may it like it makes sense to me. Like obviously you see like you see when he went through in the fights, so he's been bloodied up, he's been knocked out before he's, he's he's been through wars sure um so basically who do you um say like how, like how do you mimic do you mimic somebody when you're in the ring or is it just um basically what you learn because with the power it's, center that you have it's just it's crazy man you know you have a whole nother uh yeah you got something going on in your hands man yeah, I honest what I what I watched, I watched different fighters and I picked off certain like their style and stuff like that. I picked off a lot of Manny Pacquiao's speed and his combinations were very like awkward, but I wouldn't try to throw it like like very like I wouldn't try to throw his throw like copy basically his style. But a lot of fight like a fighter that I learned and he's also he's also he's uh, my coach as well, but he retired from pro boxing. I watched my coach a lot. And I have more of his, he says that I have more of his aggressive style. And I, I come in and I go, I go for the kill. And I'm, I stay smart, but I also, I also, once I see fear in someone's eyes, it's, that's it. It's wraps for them. Hell yeah. Yeah, man, because I've been, I was watching your past two fights and you come out like firing and they can't do anything. They can't even get their hands up. Yep. 
And yeah. the thing is, like, I haven't even shown that much. Obviously, I have two fights, so it's like I haven't shown that much. It's just all I've shown is uh, the past two fighters that they what they gave me is is being either afraid of, of what I'm what I'm co- what, what I'm coming with, or all the intentions I have. And you know, obviously, they're they're coming with a uh, being like backing up, not knowing what to do. Is I'm just coming in to know, like I'm coming in for my intention is just put somebody in the dirt. It's just I'm going for the kill. Okay. It's also you also gotta play that 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 smart game, and it's a chess match at the end at the end of the day. Yeah, oh yeah, a lot of the greats have said that one. Yeah, and, um, it's whoever makes the first. Uh, a lot of them are whoever makes the first um, shot and it's uh that's the one that's gonna end up capitalizing at the end yep and being smart too like you have a good um good head man a good head on your shoulders that you know you're not gonna um it's like you pick your fighter quick you know and that's that's real good bro um appreciate it and what's the um so what's next for you this um this year what, what else um you know? We're looking for one. We're looking for a fight in April twenty fourth. Um, we might we might get a fight. Um, might not. But if it, if it's not April, it's definitely the month after that, which I I'm excited for. I can't I can't wait to you know, go in again and just fight. I love I love it, man. It's just I can't I can't stop I can't stop going at it. I just want to get up there and just, even though I'm young, I want to take my time, but also get up there and you know be up with the big dogs basically and getting on. Hell yeah. So what is like your basically like your dream fight? If you could uh, fight anyone right now. Um uh, that's a hard question. Um who 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 I would say the monster that that 115 that 115 guy the guy that fights at 115 actually I want to see like I want to at least fight the at least I, I want to fight the guy he knocked out that he beat and then fight him. Though those I want to see. I want to see that. Say that, again. Um, that's like your dream. Your dream fight right now. Um, right now, yeah, because I because I'm also fighting at like 120, 120, and um, and one fifteen. But we haven't found any. We haven't found any points at one fifteen. We're just fighting at one twenty, just to, you know, get built up because that's the most fights. That's the most people we, you know, we got two fights from that. So. Hell yeah. And those other guys, um, the ones that you fought, how long um did you know how long they've been in the game? Or um Um, I know Jesse Peacock, the first guy I fought, I, I know he had a he had a big amateur background and he had a lot of uh, he had a lot of KOs. And also he was 34, so he, he had obviously he had the he had um how should I say he had experience a uh, like experience on what he's throughout the years because he's, he's 34 he's older but it's for me it's I've been I work hard and for the other guy he was um she was doing MMA mm-hmm. and then he went to kickboxing and then he went to boxing so he was switching different sports and damn yeah that is crazy man and uh you know a lot of a lot of boxers really don't like follow like the background and that's good that you do and um no, nah, it's it's important. It's literally you never know who you're gonna go up against, and it's just like you could fight someone that that looks easy, but can be the most toughest guy in your life. It's just you never know. Yeah, for real. And um, so basically, from these past two fights, you take a. Uh, was it all like was it confidence or was it just like um, you took them as like learning that you were, that you, when you were going I, to the ring and everything. I could say both. I could say both as well. Cause it's like you're still like I'm obviously still learning the whole game of being pro. Like it's all it's brand it's it's still brand new. But I need to get you need to adapt to it more. And then also it's the confidence is there. Um my like my mindset is I have a switch. Like obviously I could be I could be a humble and happy kid. And I and I am like that. Like I, I can be a goofy person. But then once it comes close to fight time, it's it's like a switch, and like, it comes to like a killer intent. Hell yeah, damn that's dope, bro. And uh, if you can fight in any arena, you know, in your career, what would it like? Where would you want to be like? M- MGN Grand. That's that would be, and also um, 
What else? What else? What else? Nah, yeah, it's MGM Grand. That's that's what I would love to fight at. That's because it's always that's every fight that I have watched throughout the years. I I've grown. Mm-hmm. I it's always been MGM Grand. I always watch those. Also, Las Vegas. Like it's just. I love I love the like how it is, the, how big the ring is, the whole crowd is there. Obviously now we have COVID going on, but when that when that goes when that passes by, it's it's gonna be back to normal. And I'm glad I'll be I'll be it'll be back to normal when I'm up there. Hell yeah, for sure, bro. And um, so what can you tell me about you know working with Undisputed? Undisputed, they they have they they actually they organize the shows really well. I love I love how um they how they put out how they you know they give me fights and I love how they you know they give me interviews and they help and they they help me out there they help me out especially when it was my first time getting interviewed and stuff like that I was nervous and they told me it's like yo just you know stay calm just you know you got this just talk to me like we're having a regular conversation and they put you on the, obviously they put you on the spot and just being interviewed it gets it gets nerve wracking but then it's like you slowly adapt to it more. And the people, the people there are are dope, you know. Especially like especially the people I fought, I fought by my side. It's, you know, I, I love it over there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, shout out, you know, to Anthony. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. He's um, you know, he's helped me out a lot. You know, uh, I interviewed him. He was one of the first ones I interviewed, um, on my channel. And um, he's just like he set me up with five for five fighters. You're the second one. And uh, it's basically, I'm just going through the list and it's just, it's crazy, bro. And he was like, just to get in that interview with him, it mm-hmm. opened up like a, another door and a possibility of a possible, yeah. like a possible working with him, you know, later on this year with uh, us, with more things. And then hopefully a live, a live interview, you know, with some of the fighters, you know, that would be, that would be really dope, man. In person interview. I've never done one of those yet. And uh, oh yeah. It's gonna be dope, man. You know, and I hope the best. And uh, you know, I'm from Florida, and um, just to get back out there, you know, and see like an event live, mm-hmm. that would be like a dream, bro, for real. Yeah, no, it was literally. I like how like even through a ba- a pandemic, like Anthony has bring back how it is, how it feels to for fight fans and also other fighters to see a crowd and see people there and just they they're all there to support you and you know you're you're out there just trying to make a name for yourself and i like how i like how they how, how um undisputed handles handles their business for sure and um so at the end of the day you know you're two and oh you know you almost um you possibly haven't fight on uh you said april 18th april 24th april 24th all right yeah. all right and um where would that be at possible like when that fight comes up where would that fight be in in orlando in orlando yeah all right all right and um so tell my subscribers you know where they can find you and um if they want to look at your past two fights or uh if you have any uh footage out there from your amateurs anything like that um you know i always like to try to put out the fighters and uh open other people's eyes you know to you know, the world's big, man, for, for boxing. Yeah. And um, a lot of them just strictly watch, like, certain people. And uh, this has opened my eyes, man. You know, having this channel, this has opened my eyes to the biggest world in boxing, you know. That's and what's up. I just let them know where they can find you, bro. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, uh, at Latin, Latin underscore bomber. Um, my page is there. I, po- I post... I just posted, I just posted a video, uh, not a video, just picture of um, my running today and just, I post workouts, but I haven't, I haven't posted um, like my footage of like sparring and stuff like that. You know, you, you got to keep it like low, you got to keep it low key when it comes to stuff like that. But I do, I have been training hard and I do post videos so they can, they can watch me on there. They can see how, like I keep them posted on my workouts and what fights I have coming up and also ticket sales. Oh yeah. I appreciate your time, bro. And, um, thank you for coming out on my channel. Of course, man. Thank you for having me for real. Hell yeah, bro. And I, uh, I hope to have a, you know, an update video, a possible, you know, when, um, your fight, um, your fight gets announced and everything like that. 
I want to um, be able to follow up with all the undisputed boxers that are on my list. And um, that'll be a dope, bro. Like a, like a video with everybody, you know? For sure, for sure. That'd be dope, bro. And uh, appreciate it again. And uh, remember that, y'all. You know, one love. Carlito, we out. All the way. Are we going out tonight? All the way. I'ma chug the bottle, chug it up.